Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics Maddy. In this video, I am going to demonstrate design and simulation of full wave control rectifier for RL load in PSIM. In case you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do subscribe to it. Only then you will get the videos that we post regularly. Alright, let's get started. This is the circuit diagram of a full wave control rectifier for RL load. So, a rectifier is basically a device that is used to convert AC to DC. Uh, whereas, we are using thyristors which are basically controlled devices. As a result, we will be calling this as a control rectifier. So, the type of load that we are using uh, for experiment implementation here is an RL load so uh, in case um, uh, we start off with our design uh, there are certain requirements and uh, assumptions that needs to be made so if you're doing this experiment in your laboratory ask for the values what is the firing angle what is the type of load that is to be used and what are their values as well so only then you'll get a clear picture of uh, what should be the average output voltage and RMS value of output voltage and you can cross verify with the hardware as well so these are the values that we are assuming uh, for our design uh, our first step is to determine the average value of output voltage how do we find that v out is equal to 2 times vm cos alpha by pi you have to be very careful with peak amplitude vm you have to uh, substitute as 230 into root 2 so that is one of the most uh, commonly made mistakes by students so be very careful with respect to it and uh, second step is to determine the rms value of output voltage so vrms is equal to vm by root 2 so vm is basically 230 into root 2 whole divided by root 2 root 2 root 2 gets cancelled and you will be left out with 230 volt so this is how we will be finding it so once we know average Average value of output voltage, RMS value of output voltage, we can cross verify with the simulation results that we have obtained. And secondly, we can also uh, cross verify whether uh, our analysis is correct by looking at the output voltage waveform as well. Alright, let's go to PCM and start our simulation. Here we are in PCM. Uh, we have that feature where we can drag and drop the components directly based on our circuit diagram requirement so we will be placing an ac voltage source in this particular fashion and uh, we need a thyristor so we'll basically rotate it by right clicking on the mouse and we will be requiring four thyristors so connect it in this particular fashion and uh, once that is done uh, let us uh, align them in the same line uh, with respect to the grid now we'll be connecting it in the form of a bridge uh, so that it completes our circuit diagram with respect to the input side so ac source is to be connected between these two points so once this is done we need to connect a resistor and an inductor so paste the resistor over here and we also need an inductor so connect it in the same line now we'll be connecting the resistor and the inductor and we'll be connecting it between the Two points over here so this is the load which is basically rl and apart from that we need gating block uh, a couple of gating blocks in order to trigger two switches simultaneously and the rest other two switches to be triggered with another gating block so one of the most important steps is while entering the parameters you have to choose the frequency as to be equal to the supply frequency we are considering it as 50 hertz so uh, the firing angle is 30 degrees so enter 30 degree 30 to 180 these two thyristors should conduct t1 and t2 so if you have a different frequency if you are having a frequency with respect to the switching uh, of the devices like in kilohertz or something like that uh, you will not get the right output these will behave like a diode uh, rectifier which is basically an uncontrolled device so uh, it does not be in synchronism the supply so be very careful with this step now uh, once this is done uh, again change this to 50 and this should start from 210 for the second cycle and it should end at 360 isn't it because um, one half cycle corresponds to 180 degree since our firing angle is 30 degree and it is consistent we are assuming it to be consistent that's it so 180 plus 30 is 210 based on that we'll be triggering these two so we'll be connecting uh, the thyristor at this point so be very careful while connecting that because uh, there should not be a junction or a node form while connecting uh, the gating blocks respectively so uh, drag this at this point and then connect it in this particular fashion once this is done we'll be doing the same uh, if you carefully observe there is a node formed here so be very careful with respect to it so there are chances that uh, most of the times uh, there is formation of nodes so be very careful with respect to it so once uh, these two are connected, we'll be connecting uh, these two thyristors as well in this particular fashion. We'll be placing it at this point. So uh, we have uh, connected uh, the gating blocks. The supply voltage that we have to consider is one of the most commonly made mistakes here is students will enter 230 directly and it's wrong. Why is it wrong? We have to enter 230 into root 2. They have asked us for VM value, peak value, peak amplitude. So 230 into root 2 will be giving you 325.26. So enter that value. Let the frequency be as 50 hertz itself. 
that is according to your country standards so you can suit suitable value according to it so we are choosing a resistor of about 10 ohms so enter 10 and uh, the inductance value is 100 milli so enter 100 and m so it directly accept in uh, accepts its value as in milli if you enter as m so once this is done we need uh, an input voltage uh, to be measured and the output voltage to be measured so we'll be using input and output voltage probes here so it's basically a probe if you connect at that point it is regarded as input and output voltage probes so just connect it in this particular fashion across the point where you want to measure the voltage and in case you want to measure the current flowing through the circuit you can use an ammeter probe as well connect it in series the path where you want to measure the current for next up we need a simulation control which basically controls the simulation runtime and the time step that is required for the circuit let it be in point one and uh, close this now let us uh, click on run simulation in order to check the waveforms as uh, we have already entered all the parameters based on our requirement. So over here you will be clicking the variables that you want to see the output voltage for and click on add and click on ok. Once that is done you can clearly observe we are getting uh, the right output waveform because if you see the blue ones are the output voltage. So uh, due to the inductive uh, load it still goes on uh, and then continues uh, in the negative direction and at some point uh, when the rest of the thyristors T3 and T4 is triggered again it starts conducting and T1 and T2 will be turned off due to natural commutation at that point. So this is how uh, the output waveform is supposed to be with respect to RL load. Let us now cross verify our results by checking RMS and average value. How do we find that? Here we have average and RMS value. Let us click on RMS first. So we have to measure the output voltage that is vp2 you are getting 229.66 that is e par 2 is there that is why i am reading in this particular fashion 229 volt which is approximately what we are supposed to get and uh, what about the average value click on average you are getting 180.76 that is uh, e par 2 is there that is why 180.76 is what we are reading it so we are getting the exact value with respect to our calculation perspective and we are getting the exact waveform as well so this confirms that we are uh, in the right direction with respect to the results is concerned so this is how we'll be simulating a full wave control rectifier for rl load in pcm i hope you were able to simulate this in case you have any questions feel free to reach out if you like this video please do like it share it and subscribe to our channel for regular updates thanks for watching this video please do keep supporting thank you